So this is my final project for Fernholz's information systems class. Um, what I did is all the things I did today, I put into a Google Classroom because I really like this tool that we learned in the class. <clears throat> I think it's a very great tool to implement student engagement and to be able to share all links to either it's an assignment or uh, just interesting links regarding a class. You can put it all into one. I think that's really cool. Um, the first thing I did here was I didn't use any of the podcast links provided, but I, for my passion project, I made a podcast through what I'm using right now, Screencastify, because that's an, probably my second favorite tool that I used. Um, you can use Screencastify within classes if you want to, um, if there's a student that wasn't there and you want to put it on your website, uh, just like a summary of what went on in class if you did it all over the internet. So for my podcast, I did it on my Breaking Bad um, critic thing, on my critic um, passion project. And here is just the parts. I'm not going to play them, but uh, I have them on my on my classroom here. Uh, I, it was a three parts because you can only go 10 minutes on a Screencastify. Um, also, here's the code right here for my classroom if you wanted to join it, Scott. 4-L-I-J-K-T-E. Uh, you can take a look at all this stuff. So then the next thing I did was I used the Google Documents. I made, um, these are just two of my documents I did on my blogger, but I trans transitioned them into Google Docs. Um, this first one was just like a self-interview of basic topics um, regarding Breaking Bad shared some links here for uh, TV show critics that are pretty crucial. The second one I did was peer reviews. I am still working on it because uh, I shared out a link on my Twitter and my Facebook, getting people to take my interview. Um, and I'm still receiving feedback from people as to answering these questions. So I'm going to keep this going on at, even after the class. Um, I really liked this passion project. I thought it was really cool for me to uh, implement podcasts, interviews, stuff like that, surveys. I actually did a Twitter poll as well, which I'm going to talk about in my passion project uh, presentation to you. Then the next thing I did was I made three uh, YouTube playlists. First one was on old school rap. I made it uh, just a five vi video thing. Um, with all these, they're all music videos except for these last two. And the, re the way that I found them is if I searched here, if I searched, let's say, um, for an example, Ice Cube, it was a good day. If I searched it, or today was a good day, it doesn't really matter. But um, if I did that and then I went to filters and then I went to view count, you can see that this is the most viewed one. And then the, this is the most viewed one because it's the music video. So that's how I found the second video most effectively. Uh, the next YouTube video playlist I did was um, on sports. So I did this and then I searched some of these topics. Um, and then the filter that I used for these, for example, was... Where's the Vikings? So, or for the one that I used was um, I used rating to find my the best video, and then I also found relevance, or I use relevance and uh, HD as well because I like watching in HD. So I really like the YouTube filters. The next thing I did was um, the Breaking Bad scene. So with that, I did the kind of the same thing. I used filters a lot. So that's one thing I learned from uh, this class was using filters on YouTube to find videos more effectively. Um, the next thing I did was I watched this TED talk on Sugata Mitra building a school in the cloud. So what he wanted to emphasize is that um, school is obviously becoming more technological and it is becoming uh, more internet used. So he basically talked about how you can, you can, um, implement everything through iCloud or just like cloud or internet things like this, like Google Classrooms, uh, tools like this. 
I really agree because I like the use of Google Classroom. Uh, the next one I used was on Ken Robinson's Do Schools Kill Creativity? The reason I like this TED Talk was because I've actually watched it in another class as well. And I do believe that in a way it does because schools are tending to go strictly to a schedule. Um, they don't like doing new new things. And I really believe in new learning, finding new ways to engage students. And uh, so that's why I kind of like agreed with a lot of his points. <laughs> Second, uh, the next thing I did was I provided a link here on my um, Google Classroom. And the tool I was going to use was through the power searching um, activity that we did. And so I just have this link here about the new arena. And uh, the tool I like was Control F because I use that literally everything. So if I wanted to find the location, then I could find it right here. And then it shows where um, the new Bucks Arena is going to be. And then the last thing I did was using a Twitter search. Um, I also created an assignment as if someone, I had students in this class. And uh, I used the hashtag math chat. So what I did is I had, I'm having students share one link that they found interesting and then replying to at least two other students. So if I go in here on Twitter and I'm looking at the hashtag math chat, it provides all these cool links, um, just random links too about math chat. It's just people um, tweeting out stuff about math. So usually math teachers would use this hashtag to find other links or maybe activities um, right here. It says there's like some apps to build math skills. Obviously, we're going to a techno technologically advanced uh, world. So having apps like that is really, really important. So overall, I really enjoyed the class, Scott. Um, I thought it was a very well run class uh, through Google Classroom because that's what I like the most. Um, and then I like, I just like being able to collaborate all these links. I know I'm using a um, Delicious. That was also a very cool website that you use for me or that you uh, provided to us. I'm still using that. I'm kind of bringing all of the links that I'm using for all my classes or the uh, resources into one. So I'm making just one giant resource file, obviously with folders and such. Um. And then, yeah, my like I said, my two favorite tools from this class were Screencastify and uh, Google Classroom. Uh, obviously, I had a lot of knowledge on Google Docs, Google Forms, stuff like that, because I've used it in other classes and in my um, previous educational studies. So that was just like a little refresher for me. And then I really liked some of the presentation things that we learned, such as... Um, Let's see here, we got Google Slides. Uh, what was that one that I used? Oh, uh, I don't know what the name of it was, but um, it was the one where you like went through art gallery. I just, Tim just used it the other day and I can't think of what the name was. I'll have to look at it, it's in my delicious. Um, but I like those five, there's like five different ways to present um, lessons to classes and stuff like that. So I thought that was cool. And then obviously podcasting, I'm only using it through, um, I'm using pod, podcasting through my screen Castify, but there's other things like SoundCloud, stuff like that, that I really enjoyed. So uh, yeah, that's my final project. I provided all the links here and my code once again, if you wanted to look at it. Um, so hopefully I addressed everything that was required for this final project. So thank you, Scott.